はい、のさようでございます、えー、それではオリエント急行殺人事件引き続きやっていきましょうよし、暴いてみようYou can never have too many of these. What have you been doing, Poirot? I am completely in the dark. I will shine some light on the situation, my friend. I have three new suspects who could have killed Ratchet and Monsieur Wadi. Miss Nielsen, Monsieur Fauché, and Monsieur Mori. They all had periods of time during both murders to commit the deed, and their alibis are weak. A visit to a family, and not one, but two shopping trips. But, but, all are my employees. Alas, yes, my dear Book. But we have no proof against any of them. None of the three appears to have any motive whatsoever. But this is a tragedy. Do not give up hope. We will catch this murderer. There is still one place that may hold the evidence we need. Geneva. Exact. Do not give up hope. Well, that's easy for you to say. But what if it's Freya? What becomes of dessert? If it's Sotaru, who will cook? Me? And the worst, if it's Jean, who will serve the drinks? I've been checking up on the Banque du Lac. I had to confirm my identity for Interpol, so they contacted my captain at the Berkshire Police. I suspect he was not pleased. That my vacation was actually an unofficial investigation? I'll say. I would be happy to speak to him on your behalf. Thank you. But he'll get over it. It's a chance to close the books on the Armstrong kidnapping. He stopped yelling, asked for a report, 
then granted me an extra week. Excellent. What did you learn from Interpol about the Banque du Lac? It's had a bad reputation for over a century. Customers have included the Mafia, Nazis, corporate swindlers of every description, even heads of state. It is true, this. It is the worst kept secret in banking. They take advantage of the bank's strict policy of protecting the anonymity of its clients. This is in defiance of many laws from multiple countries, including Switzerland itself. Of course, I have never taken advantage of such a corrupt system. That goes without saying, my friend. There are ongoing investigations, subpoenas, court orders. The bank will eventually have to comply or its assets may be seized. But until then, it still thrives, thanks to its wealthy and powerful clients. It sounds perfect for the late Monsieur Ratchet. Do you have any ideas? The serial numbers from some of the bills match those from the Armstrong kidnapping. We agreed in Venice that the bulk of the money must still be physically in the bank's vault. I concur, Detective Locke. Exemplary work. So, our next task is clear. We need to get into Ratchet's safety deposit box. There will be codes, passwords. And Monsieur Wadi would, of course, have known them all. The bag of money he carried is proof of that. We'll need to find information about Ratchet's box in Wadi's office at the bank. Most assuredly, but remember the secrecy involved. I doubt his office will contain all we need. Where else must we dig? That's the right answer. Mr. Wadi couldn't keep all of his secrets at the bank. Hopefully we'll find something in his apartment. We already have his address, thanks to his passport, and his keys we retrieved from his body. The train stops in Lausanne at 8 a.m. But that's far from Geneva. I can delay the departure until 11 a.m., no later. The police are expecting us in Paris by the end of the afternoon at the latest. They won't tolerate any delay. The bank doesn't open until 9. I can see only one way that gives us a chance to be on time. Ferries travel between Lausanne and Geneva, but it would take over three hours. We can't depend on finding a faster boat. Better to take a taxi and pray traffic is light. The best thing is to separate. One of us searches his apartment, the other searches his office. To access the safety deposit box, we need to find the key, the box number, and the passcode. Suppose you find all this. How do you plan to get into the vault? We are going to use the bank's anonymity policy to our advantage. And the quickest way is for you to impersonate Ratchet. I would rather impersonate Jack the Ripper. But in the interest of justice, I will do it. We need to find the account number. Along with everything else. I will say I want access to the vault. They don't ask for papers or even names. The vault information is enough. I'm not hearing any of this. I run a trade company. I don't rob banks. Perfect. Let's recap the plan. That was easy. To sum up, we're going by taxi to Geneva. Then we'll split up. 
You're going to search Mr. Wadi's apartment. I'll search the office at the bank. When we have all the information we need, you pretend to be Ratchet, and we can finally find out what Ratchet is keeping hidden in his safety deposit box. It sounds impossible. Not for Detective Joanna Locke and Hercule Poirot. We should get some rest. You are right, Detective. We face our greatest challenge tomorrow. Together. Nine o'clock. Our driver did well. It took barely an hour to get here from Lausanne. But we must conclude our business in one hour as well. Book can only hold the train until 11 o'clock. One hour to find the key of Ratchet's safety deposit box, the box number, and its passcode. A lot to ask. Indeed. Which is why we must split our forces. I will take the cab to Monsieur Wadi's address. You must search his office. I have you on speed dial. And thank you. Mr. Poirot. For what, mademoiselle? For trusting me. Please ask one of the staff for assistance, mademoiselle. You there. I have an appointment with Mr. Wadi. Let me check. I'm sorry, I don't see any appointments this morning at all. Mr. Wadi hasn't even arrived yet. Although he should be here by now. I'm Joanna Locke. I made an appointment with Mr. Wadi two weeks ago. Madam, please. You must know in the Banque du Lac, all accounts are anonymous. Unfortunately, I cannot verify your identity. Then you will forget I mentioned my name. I already have. Good. I'll wait in Mr. Wadi's office. I can't stand out here in public. If someone should recognize me, you understand? Oh yes, of course. I'm sure Mr. Wadi will be here shortly. I can send him right in when he arrives. His office is this way. Please come in. I can't understand where Mr. Wadi might be. You're right. I don't have much time at all. Uh, it's closed. Alice in Wonderland, again. Mr. Wadi seems to have really liked this book. Tower of Babel. Mm, makes sense. We know that Mr. Wadi is from Iraq, and the ancient tower is said to have been built there.
fucked. Fucked. I'm taking a picture of it. I'll send it to Poirot. It might be useful to him. I need the password. Maybe Poirot can help me. I managed to get into Wadi's office. I did a quick preliminary search. Everything is locked, including his computer. All I could find was a photo with a date on it. I just sent it to you. Maybe you can use it. Thank you. That might help. I've just arrived at the apartment. I'll call you when I find something. As quick as you can. I can't stay here long. This is definitely not Monsieur Wadi's apartment. This is definitely not Monsieur Wadi's apartment. Ah, here we are. Let's see if the key I picked up in Monsieur Wadi's luggage in Venice will open his door. Great. That may be useful to Mademoiselle Locke or me. I'll take a photo. Thank you. 
Hmm, a bizarre endgame to be sure, but I suspect checkmate is possible for white in three moves. Let's see. Staring at the clock won't help. Wow. Hmm, this could be the password to Monsieur Wadi's office computer. He must change it every month. It seems to have a logical sequence, but I need to find the one for December. I must admit I'm not right this time.
no, 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 not good. Think, Poirot, that is not a good answer. This is wrong, but I'm never far from the truth.
no, 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 not good. I think that's the right answer. いろいろ考えてましたけどちょっとわからないのでもう少しパターンを変えて考えてみたいと思いますだらだらすいませんではねここで一旦終了しますご視聴ありがとうございました野坂優でした